This is the first time that anybody's ever done this in the state of Florida, which is measuring segmental bridges and installing sensors prior to construction and having data come out of bridges. So it's almost, in essence, a smart bridge. So when FIU approached us to put in these sensors that measure time-dependent losses, we wanted to be a part of that and we wanted to learn from our bridges. We put in about 96 sensor, 16 in each segment. We have six segments that we're monitoring. The sensor itself was installed, you know, all done by two graduates and some undergraduates who go out in the field doing the construction site. I personally go there to supervise as well as show them how to install. The segmental bridge sections themselves are, are pretty large, you know, they're, I would say they're nine, ten feet inside. So you have to climb up there, you gotta be careful, you're walking on a rebar, you gotta make sure your footing's right, you gotta watch where you step. I think this technique is more useful because you can actually know the, sh the shrinkage, the creep within the structure. So as the concrete um, shrinks or creeps, it'll push in on the sensors here on, on the end and compress it and it'll get conducted through the cable and it'll measure the change in uh, strain in the concrete itself. Making concrete is like cooking, right? And you, you, there's different way to cook a surplus with food. So that's the same thing. So obviously the, the, the variation of these properties make it harder for engineering to, to come up with a formula that can precisely predict the behavior of it. And because of such nature, because of the vari variability of, of the properties of concrete, the key is just rather than try to do that, is just try to you know, monitor the health of it. It's just like we're monitoring the pacemaker in your heart or something. So it's like we're monitoring the pulse of the bridge. Every two year cycle, every bridge in the United States has to be inspected. And this data that would come out of these sensors would definitely help us and future design and construction engineers learn from what's happening over time with these bridges. Thank you.